Hello and welcome to Japanese Garden Bristol. Now I've specially made this video today for today which is the 12th of the 8th, 12th of August um, because um, my garden is going on BBC Two Gardeners World tonight so I thought I'll let you guys know um, it's going up so if you want to watch it. Um, I'm kind of a bit apprehensive about it I'm pleased it's going on but kind of concerned of what I said and what they do when they cut it about as you can imagine with this YouTube I control it with the TV they control it and uh, yeah so I'm a bit concerned of what it's going to turn out like but um, I'm going to tell everybody anyway you know I might have to go in hiding after so uh I'll ask my brother, he's got a cellar, if I can hide out there for a couple of years until it blows over. But um, I'm sure it'll be all right. So yeah, I'm just letting you guys know it is good, it's on. The uh, came and done some filming about five weeks ago. It took 10 hours filming. And uh, I think it's about seven minutes of the program. But um, we'll see, they might cut it back even more, you never know. So we'll see what happens there. Um, yeah, so if you'll watch out for that tonight, it's on at half past eight on Garden mm -hmm. 2, Gardener's World. If you miss it, or you're watching this video too late, then um, I have seen Gardener's World on YouTube. So if you do uh, wanna watch it, um, you can probably find it on there. And like I said, it's the 12th of August, 2022. So if you wanna look that one up, then uh, feel free. I'm, I might not watch it yet. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't watch these videos back on YouTube, let alone uh, something on TV. But like I said before, I have done TV interviews on the news. It took me a while to watch them. I ended up watching them, and uh, I've watched them a few times. So uh, yeah, it might be alright. So what else I'm going to do in this video is I've done two visits. Um, totally different ends of the scale. Okay, um, one, Dean, he's, uh, he started at Koi last year, and the other one, Dave, he's uh, been um, keeping Koi for about 16 years now. But, um, so what I'm gonna do, I went, I filmed, I met Dean when he came and bought some baby Koi off me last May. Um, so uh, he's told me he wants to build a Koi pond, I give him a bit of advice. I went around his house, and he lives over the road from me. So I went around his house and uh, gave him some advice on how to uh, build the pond. Um, got there in the end and it's uh, gone quite well. But the thing was, that was in uh, June 2021. I have been back since, but I haven't done any recording. So I will do an update on it, hopefully by the end of the summer. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna show you uh, what he's done. He's got a nice garden and we'll have a look at that one first. And then after I'll show you something else. I'll let you watch this one, um, see Dean's Pond, and uh, I'll see you after. Okay, so I've come to uh, a friend of mine, Dean. He's created this Japanese garden in the corner of his garden, um, and he's started to dig a pond, him and his wife, Laura some nice acers cloud trees and he's built himself a, a tea house and now he's working on a pond he's done quite well in a week he's told me his wife dug this out as well so fair play to him what he watched with a cup of tea he's having a waterfall over there Going down about four or five foot. It's going to dig more out of the bottom. Uh, yeah, it's creating itself a nice little area here. There's his house. Nice big garden. He's out there having his breakfast at the moment. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see this. I'm giving him a lot of advice on on how to make sure that it's good enough for the koi. And yeah, I think he's doing a fantastic job. Let's go and see the rest of his garden. There he is over there, like, having his breakfast. 
<laughs> I said, don't film me. <laughs> yeah, nice car. Okay, so uh, me and Dean are gonna put the liner in now. The underlay is in. Dean's been working on that a couple of nights and getting the underlay in ready. And now we're gonna get the liner in, fingers crossed. of hours so I think we should be able to do that quite easy. Looking good. Okay, so like I said, that was last year. So it's come on a lot since then. He's uh, got some nice koi in there and uh, he's made something of it. So um, what I'll do, I'll try to get another video, like I said, of it before the end of the summer and you can see how his garden and his pond has progressed over the year. So that'd be interesting. Now, this one, um, Dave, I've known Dave for quite a few years. He came to my garden before I changed it. And uh, I mean, I was always meant to go back to his garden, go and see his garden, his koi. Um, didn't happen for quite a few years. And COVID it and stuff like that. Well, we managed, we, we work together. So our shifts are all over the place. So we managed to get a, a day together, which was last Saturday. And um, I popped up here, he's had a good night. And when he turned the lights on in his garden, I walked into his garden, I was, uh, I was like taken back. It's, it's amazing. It's not a very big garden. In fact, it's quite small, but what he's done with it is very clever. Um, it's very, um, how can I say, spot on really. So um, we were sat there having a chat, then it got dark and he put his lights on. I was like, wow, that looks amazing. Something I got to do in my garden that is uh, going to cost a lot of money, so I'm thinking of doing it not this winter, winter after. So I asked Dave, I said, Can I do some videoing for my YouTube? And he said, Yeah, of course. So I went out there. He didn't want to be in it neither. And um, I videoed it with the lights on. So that's what you're going to see now. It's quite amazing. Um, what I'm going to do is go back, hopefully, again by the end of the summer and video the filter system because it'd be good to see his filter system and uh, and see it in daylight so have a look at this one and uh, I'll see you after okay so here we are in uh, a colleague's of mine and a good friend he's let me film his garden for me YouTube channel um, is it night now? I'm gonna come back and do a day visit. You might see a day visit before this one. I don't know yet. See how I edit it. But this is his garden. A great acer there. Really nice. This patio, very nice garden, love it. You wait till you see this koi. Here we go. Got a koi pond here, about 13 and a half thousand liters, five foot deep. Some beauties in there. What a 
great garden. Worked hard on this. These filters are under the deck in here. What I'll do, I'll come back in the daytime and their time and uh, show you his filter system. The roof he's got on there, proper roof. Well looked after garden and pond. What do you think of that one? Splendid, isn't it? Really nice. I like the way he's done everything. Um, he's got everything so right, the patio tables, the, the um, patio, the seating, um, the roof over the pond is just amazing. Um, everything about the garden, he's just in such a small space, he's done so well. And I was quite shocked with it myself. Um, it was nice sat out there in the evening with a drink and uh, having a chat. So yeah, Dave's done a really good job on that and um, I look forward to going back again, hopefully before the end of the summer. Okay, so that's it for tonight. Um, well, actually, it's blooming hot weather here in Bristol. Um, it's getting hotter and uh, it's about 34 degrees, I think it is. So really nice weather. Um, Keeping the oxygen going in the pond, quite seem happy enough. Uh, watering the plants, we haven't got a hose pipe ban yet, so plants are going well. And uh, yeah, so if you want to uh, see me on Gardener's World tonight, then like I say, I'll pass date on BBC Two. Fingers crossed, I'm going to like it. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Uh, keep, keep watching, and um, I've got loads more videos coming up. Um, I put one aside from tonight to put this one up, so I got loads more coming. So click like. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>